All right, this week on Today I Wine For, we are doing the room makeover. Um, I've been promised this for um, a couple of weeks now, and this is only gonna be part one. <laughs> so, if you didn't already know, I have a full-time job outside of this. I mean, let's take a look at my subscriber count. There's no way I could live off of that. <laughs> but I really do hope one day that might be a possibility. Um, but right now I have a full-time job. This is a bit of a passion project for me to do this YouTube channel that I've been doing for a number of years. You know, on weekends, after work, in the evening, working on these DIY projects and getting out a video every Wednesday for you sometimes is a really big struggle. So um, I've broken down this room makeover into a couple of parts and um, it's gonna be fun. There's a lot of prep that went into this, um, a lot of cleaning and organization this week, but the main DIY is the headboard that I'm building. And thanks to a subscriber who kind of suggested, why don't you make a boho headboard? Because I guess they were looking to make one themselves. I live here with my boyfriend, so I don't have complete design control over everything that goes on here. I like to get his input on things from now. <laughs> you know, like from time to time. For the most part, this is me though. And I showed him a few different designs from Pinterest that I kind of liked, and he picked this one. We are building that headboard today, and it is so simple to do. So um, we're gonna get that started with our DIY uh, room makeover, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you won't see the full reveal this week. It's coming, it's coming, we're working on it, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the DIY. So this is my junk room, uh, it should be my spare bedroom. My boyfriend used to play video games in here, he sold his console, and then it just became a junk room. Um, because COVID, we haven't had anybody stay over, so who cares what it looks like? All right, so this mess honestly is better than it looked a couple of weeks ago. I've slowly been selling things, donating things, but a lot of this is um, DIY supplies that are unorganized. Some of it's decor that I plan to use for this room. Some of it still needs to be sold. You don't need to see me clean all that up, but I got rid of all the junk. And now I'm just taking down these shelves that I previously put up. It's no longer gonna work for our design. So um, this is the best way I could come up with pulling out um, the, um, wall plugs but if you have another idea please let me know of course just filling that with some polyfill and here's my janky curtain rod that I had up so I'm taking that down and don't be like me this was such a bad idea it could have gone so much worse luckily I had the bed to stand on there just get a step stool so sanding down all of the holes and painting over them luckily we had this paint color on hand because we painted these rooms when we first moved in and i'm lifting up my uh, curtain rods almost to the ceiling oh, no. I'm not gonna pull. yeah make sure you measure how wide you have your um <laughs> curtain rod as well <laughs> i need to get a longer pole Okay, let's build this headboard. It's pretty simple. I've got three one by threes here, and then I picked up 10 of these pieces of trim. They are an inch wide by a quarter inch thick and about seven feet long. So it really depends on what you're building, but this one worked for me. And I'm using these scrap boards here, as you can see, to space out these pieces evenly on those three braces that I have. And honestly, all I did was use wood glue for this and then weighted it down once it was all put together. If you have a brad nailer, that's gonna work great, but I just didn't have that. So while that was drying, I built these side shelves. Now this piece here is as wide as two of those strips of wood plus a gap in between them and you'll understand why in a few moments this is just a very small side shelf that I made out of a pine board it's about one foot long screwing these together and then we basically just put this up on the wall where we thought it would go. So luckily there was a stud in the center one there. So we just have one screw in there for now. So we can slide these shelves in and see where the best place to put them is. Then we took it all down. I'm putting some wall plugs into the wall because there's no studs. And we have both of those shelves hung now. And then the uh, headboard slides on over top. As you can see, it hides that backboard that we um, screwed into the wall there. So we just screwed it into the wall and I filled that up with some wood fill so we can keep that natural look and we're putting the bed together it's a really cheap kind of futon bed that we got from Ikea um, and I kept everything quite neutral because it's such a small room 
I'm having some trouble with these curtains though, so if you could give me your opinion on which one you like best in the comments below, that would be great. So here is kind of the um, half room makeover. As you can see, these are some of the colors that I'm going with. There's some DIY pillows there that I've made in the last couple of weeks. Liking how this is coming together. Not sure, not loving the stark whiteness of the sheets. I ordered them online and it's kind of what I got when I came here. But next week I will be giving um, you the rest of your makeover. And here's a little sneak peek of what's to come. I've got a cute little accent wall with this thrifted mirror here. These are my colors and I can't wait to share it with you next week. So make sure you subscribe.